So my print head went crashing down on my printer bed, and damaged the printer bed, and destroyed the tip. I'm going to show you what happened and how to fix it, and I'm also going to show you how to fix that Z offset. So what you're seeing here is my damaged bed, and I was printing a Batonoff math for a telescope walked out of the room and came back and saw this and this the print head has gone down and completely damaged this it's still usable but it's clearly going to be like this forever and if you look under here you look at this tip you can see that it is completely smashed and so it's so smashed that no more filament will come out so we've got a couple of problems to fix the first one is going to be replacing the tip and then we have to reset the z offset so the reason this occurred is somebody went in here and started turning my knobs and I was not aware of it. Even though I leveled the bed, the Z offset was changed dramatically enough to completely destroy the tip. So I have the tip hot and I've removed the uh, CR touch in the cover. The fan is running and I first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to clean up some of this molten filament here and get this off of the heater and also off of the tip and then I'm going to get a small wrench and loosen that up and then with a gloved hand I will attempt to take it off so if you're going to do this be very very careful and make sure that you uh, don't get burned because that is really hot and you can get injured So if you're wondering why I have all this filament here is that the, it was pressing so hard it actually squeezed out in a couple of different places because I didn't have this really, really tight because uh, I don't like torquing it down too tight and it leaked out and I just want to get this all cleaned off before I put a new tip on. So I've got the tip installed and tightened and I'm going to take a needle needle and carefully insert it and go back and forth and make sure this is completely cleaned out. And if you're going to do this you have to do it while it's hot because the filament needs to be melted so stay away from that tip with your fingers. Now you need to put the silicone boot back on and it's still hot so I'm doing with gloved hand and then reinstall the CR touch and the fan cover. All right, see at the home position here we have 11.32. What we need to do is you go into control bed leveling probe Z offset and then take this to zero and store it. I'm not going to do it now, uh, but this will take this to zero and then rehome it. And then what it will do is that it will go to, when you back out of this and you home it again, it'll say 10. Okay? So when that's an even number, then what you do is you go in to the Move Access, move Z, move one millimeter, and then you take it down to zero. Those two steps first. Okay, I've reset the Z offset to zero, and I'm going to bring this down one at a time. I'm going to bring this down until it says zero. I want to watch, make sure it doesn't crash into the bed. Okay, that's zero. We've got some slack. Now we're going to back out and go to main, control, bed leveling, probe Z offset. Okay, so now we want to lower this down. 
So that's two pieces of paper. Okay, that's starting to grab. It says negative 1.3. Press return one time, go out of the bottom, store settings. All right, the tip is installed, the offset was cleared, and then we reprobed it. After we went to the zero mark of the actual Z, and that's important. If you don't, then you won't be able to get a correct Z offset. And now we're ready to test print. Okay, so after I had the Z offset stored, I went in and I leveled the bed using the controls in the display. All right, so this is a test print. All it is, is a disc about 30 millimeters wide and 10 millimeters tall. And I just want to make sure that everything is working properly and that I get a good print because I'm not going to start a production print uh, because it's just a waste of time and I want to do something quick and that I can see the results. So here we are at the first layer. I know it's a little bit difficult to see, but that's, I've got the camera where I can see it about the best because the print head is in the way. And we're going to take a look at this in detail and make sure that this is right. Okay, I'm going to pause the print. Okay, what we're looking at here are two layers are done, and the third layer is at the bottom. And as you can see, it's not perfect, but it's all cohesive. Everything is bound together, and it's flat. And so it's pretty smooth. There's a little defect right there, and there's one also to the left. But I noticed that from the first layer, but I don't think it will affect the overall quality. So let's print it out and see how it looks. Okay, so here's our test part. Let's take a look at it. Rip that off. It's very uniform. It's well printed. Top is completely flat. The bottom, we had a little error here, but the second layer uh, fixed that, and that's pretty common. The first layer is not perfect, but it's good enough that the second layer can correct the error, and you never notice it in the following print. So that's how to fix a problem like this and get your printer going again.